Hey friends, this is Mrs. Lin. Welcome to another story time with me and my reading buddy, Brown Sugar. Now remember, if you have a reading buddy that you would like to share this story with, you can hit pause on the video and go grab him or her. Today we're going to be reading a story called One Red Sun. It's written and illustrated by Jennifer Sattler. In a big pink chair, in a room full of dots, sat a purple hippo wearing one red sock. It looks funny this way. This just will not do. So she put on another sock. This one was blue. I have to be fashionable or I cannot be seen. So she put on another sock. This one was green. She stuck out her chin. This won't ruin my day. So she put on another sock. This one was gray. This is driving me crazy. It just isn't right. So she put on another sock. This one was white. She was losing her patience. She told herself, think. So she put on another sock. This one was pink. Well, I hope this one works. It's the last one I got. And she pulled on the sock with polka dots. Well, it's not perfect, and it's definitely not red. But at least it matches my room, she said. So she tottered off happy, though her socks weren't a pair. And the other red sock? It had always been there. Friends, do you guys see that missing red sock? It's right there in her chair. And that's the end of the story. Now, before we finish story time for the day, I want you, um, I want to read together a note from the author. Um, she writes, the little purple hippo wants her sock to match so that everything will look just right. She is trying to be perfect and trying to be perfect can be frustrating. Have you ever tried to draw a flower but it ends up looking like a bunch of balloons? You guys see the author's drawing here? She was trying to draw a flower, but it ended up looking like a bunch of balloons. Sometimes I don't get things right the first time, or the fourth time, or the 123rd time. But once in a while, on the second, or the fifth, or the 124th time, something so silly, so wonderful, and so surprising will happen that it becomes the new perfect. It's better than the thing I was trying to do. So maybe the next time you're getting dressed or drawing a picture or telling a story or baking a cake or building a spaceship and it doesn't go right the first time, keep trying. Because you know what? You might find something amazing that you weren't even looking for, like our little hippo's perfect polka dot sock. Boys and girls, so don't forget that next time you try something new, that if it doesn't work out the first time or the second time, you just need to keep trying. Now, if you enjoyed that story, uh, remember you can always come back next week for another story time uh, with me and Brown Sugar. Um, until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and happy reading. Bye.